hello everybody and welcome back to Palace Player, the game known as Star Citizen. Uh, I am currently doing episode, again, not caught up with editing, so whatever at the front this is 3.2, 3.1. Of course, this is day three officially, even though technically day one covers one, two days, day two is two, three, etc. So technically day five or six, but really it's day three uh, of, as you can see here, Invistus. Uh, what is 29, is it? Da, 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 da. Launch week 2954. Obviously, we've already done uh, day one. It's RS, RSI, Origin, but to check off. Our, our Argo, Astols, and Constant Outlines. Actually, there's been not last week's week before. On the channel, May 1920th, Misk and Mariah, Crusader, and Tumblr. And then, it's doing the freezing things, so I can't move to the day we need. Ages is today, May 21st to 22nd. I'm at recording this on 22nd of May. 6.01 a.m. Oh, and after this I've got to run, um, if Zootif hasn't got on, log her in quick. Because I've been in 1, 2, 3, so this day should give me the uh, Medi Midi Bag. Uh, a mini Bag, was it? Medi? Or Medi, Medi Beacon? Something like that. And a Forum Badge. For being on for 3 days. I don't think you get them on that day, but that should register my account for it. So when Tiffy was on day 1, she was on this day. Obviously put her on to this one. And then, of course, then Amble, she should get it. And we've got one extra day for her, if necessary. Okay. I'm going to do this last night, but to see if he, uh, like, hey, come sit down, you talk to you, and we had this little chat, and then next thing I fell asleep, I was like, fudge. <laughs> okay. We also had, like, some, don't really want to go into details of it right now. I don't know if I will it or not, depending on the situation. Hopefully, it's nothing but some bad news evolving certain stuff. I found it yesterday too, so but hopefully it won't end up being bad. It's just potential it could be. Okay, so we have under the ground uh, the Nautilus and the Vulcan. Vulcan, Vulcan. I'm trying to think why. I'm thinking the Vulture, aren't I? I was like, why is the Vulture that that's um. Drake, it's the Vulcan, not the Vulture. The Vulcan. Is the Vulcan the one that he owns? It's basically the, like the repair ship. Because Nautilus. I think you're the mine layer. Mine layer, if I'm not mistaken. You might be the one she owns that she doesn't have yet. What's the repair ship if it is? Okay. Oh, we have three rooms to go through today. All four is going to be Vanguards. And the Redeemer, or one. So it might be best to go in around uh, Avengers, Eclipse, T Gate, Renegade, Renegade. Is that a new ship, Renegade? The Warlock is EMP, Titan is the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Titan is the cargo variant, Eclipse is their like, EP. Variant. The Stalker is basically the Bounty version. Oh, I bet the Renegades, the, um, there's, there's like, um, Arena Commander version, isn't it? Like, five ships have it. Bet that the Renegades, the Arena Commander version of that. It is based off some kind of in-game lore of a, uh, of an in-game character who flew it and a special loadout. If not, it's a new ship, but I'm thinking it's that. And then we have Halted with Gladys Valiant. Again, I think that's the Eatery Commander version. We've got two of them, because they only say it once, not the regular Gladius. Aegis Hammerhead. Okay, so that'd be a huge ship to look around. And the main is the Retaliator. What, if I'm not mistaken, that's an old ship, but they've just hit the gold pass, just redone it, and it's modular now. I think it was always meant to be modular, but in the past, if you bought the Retaliator, you got the Bomber variant, you got a Torpedo variant, or something, or the is it a cargo variant, maybe something like that. And there were individual ships, but now I believe you own one, as long as you have the other beige, you can swap them out at a station. I believe that's in game now. Age of Saber, Firebird. That's the new Saber. That's um, a missile bolt, basically. I believe it's going to come with like 20 missiles or 60 missiles or something. The regular Saber and the Comet is again the only commander version. At least that's what my memory is telling me right now. So let go. Pull two and around. So right, we need this way. 
I'm going to probably take the whole episode. But we'll try and do it as quick as possible. We get to the minute mark and we passed it. We'll probably try to squeeze your episode then. But we'll see. It also depends how often it does that freezing gets done the last couple of times on me too. Here we go. So, according to that, these are the same shit, they're the same variant. It's the Valiant. Yeah, so this is the Arena Commander version, basically. Create as part of the Master Flight, that's it. It's in conjunction with uh, the Flight Sim Arena Commander, so Master Flight with Arena Commander. The Valiant pays tribute to famed defense pilot Cody Hilliard for being the first human on record to defeat a Vandal in combat. This Gladius comes equipped with a specialized dogfight focused loadout, custom special edition larvae honoring the iconic ship. I can't back up. Let's do that freezing move. So yeah, I was right. These are the history ones, basically. There's one boss that's open. This one might actually be bugged. Okay, try to one. Maybe good, it's got two here. As you know, I own technically two gladiators now. Not this variant, no. I own the pirate one. You know, you had to beat a pirate swarm and then you could buy it and uh, back it for it. It's the only way to get a hold of it. So I own that variant. And I own the original. And you couldn't upgrade it to the original to this, the pirate one. Pirate's a standalone ship. So you had to get it that way. That's not a ladder, is it? They have to put a ladder. <laughs> I'm like, I own this ship, but I'm opening the wrong thing. But again, they use this as one of the gold standard ships overall. Anything new, uh, Britain, basically, the regular variant anyway, and these are all six heads in body, ends up putting it on this ship first before it gets to other ships, 9 out of 10. Master Mole's first shipping game we could use it was actually the Gladius, for example. Uh, the first ship ever made in Manchester for, uh, from uh, Britain. So the first British ship, so to speak, was the Gladius. Uh, I told the story multiple times, I'm going to be very quick with it. Basically, I got my wedding ship, the original Gladius, because they announced it on my wedding day. I woke up and saw the announcement, first ship in Manchester. Uh, the American studios at the time, I think there was only two in America at the time, and one in Manchester. Um, the American ones focused on the Hornet. Well, Manchester, 142, focused on this. And on my wedding day, I woke up, get ready, and I looked on my phone, and, oh, this is fate. So I basically bought it. Also, this is one of the ships that where people are like, oh, get things late. Proved they didn't, because they announced it to come out, and they actually put it out one week earlier than they announced. Yes, them things were far in between, granted. <laughs> it's like one out of ten, but they still did it. Well, yeah, like the first time they, they started adding, um, uh, what's it called? Um, the extra things on the, sh the ship for like web and racks for outside ships this was the go to ship obviously there's certain stuff this doesn't get that others would like the brand new as you can see down there some of the items uh, the brand new um, t -t 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 multi crew ship gameplay obviously they wouldn't put it on this first it's gone to the C thing you can see because it gets a single seater but anything that's single seater variant uh, basically like moving parts and stuff and whatever it went on the variant, the, the basic variant of this and I believe the bodies are shared so this one got the update too and that's that sort of thing anyway these are supposed to be like older ships at least the um, well I guess the Valance too it's supposed to be a first person to be Bandle older ships with UEE that are still chugging along here's the Hammerhead I believe this is a big like turret capitalist ship gunship, heavy gunship Fast patrol ship with multiple turrets designed to combat fighters. The hammerhead is uh, equally suited to support a larger capital ship. Oh, they support capital ships in the fleet at the flagship for fighter groups. If I'm not mistaken. I think a few weeks or months ago on the channel when we had to do, what, do that, that mission, the old is it the over thingy missions. We had to fight one of these and actually we boarded it, it broke into bits. And so if you couldn't find the entrance and I can't move again, that's what's slowing these videos down. Come on, go forward. So I would have already been walking in it. If, if assuming it's not bugged, I can get in it. Because obviously it'll be able to see it from here. Basically, like we threw in this end, for example. 
and she couldn't find it because it was broken up and there's all fire and smoke in it. You know, like that nice middle part to look the other side. And I'm freezing, as you can tell. Uh, come on. How's my RAM doing? Okay, this event's training the RAM. I'm down to 4.6 available. I'm using 27.1 right now RAM in game in 4.7. It's available now. It went up slightly while we went up the lift apparently by 1. 0.1! Yeah, 0.1 game! They're like, how do you know? Everybody know? <laughs> so, right, we're going around as quick, quick as possible. So, again, as it says on the tin, well, there's escape parts. There's a turret. On the other side, there's almost a mirror. There's another turret. And she's got quite good signage. Cargo room. Uh, of course, this will probably be wait, a button or something to open that to access stuff. It's freezing and I can't find a button, so we won't spend much time on it. And if it isn't, they'll be pulling it somewhere at a later date. Can't turn just to see what that left is. Is that a room or just something? Of course, it shuts up. Okay, so I think this is, uh, as it says, a user engineer station. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, it's a use, wasn't it? This is where the engineering is, so the access. Uh, when the engineering game plays in officially, the um, the wiring or whatever you call it, uh, and stuff like that, you know, shutting and opening doors. I can get out of the bloody room if it'll start freezing on me. Uh, this is technically the technically second ship of the day. And we're freezing like mad, and the first one was technically bugged. Even though we've gone to three ships technically. Because two variant, well, the same variant of the Gladius, so it's not starting off very good this video. This is where the crew goes. As you can see, bear beds, two, four, so there'll be, with well, these, is eight. Probably, unless this is the middle of the ship. I think this is the middle of the ship. Yeah, I'll say it's the middle of the ship. So those are eight crew, there might be an extra one for the captain. Sink. showers and toilets or whatever I think this one might just be showers that's the way we came in oh, that's the way I came in yep yeah, this is toilet so they have two showers and two toilets in the morning for eight players User engineer. I click it. I clicked it. Fudge. Don't mean to click it. Okay, at least that's working. Remember that bell I got in with freelancer the other week. <laughs> so does that mean you got two engineering? Because I went out the opposite way, right? Cost the cargo and cost some generate things and that one apparently is fixing, sparking a bit. We can back to it. Like I said, a cargo, probably got a vehicle on there. Lowers. Yeah, and that's just the way we came before, so. We'll just go back the opposite way. We'll just show her. I don't think it's mirrored. There might be a different room, but other than that, like it's quite mirrored. So, yes, yeah, the engineering we went in. There's the radar things. Say, so, um, Escape parts. There's the what back there. The turret. See bridge up here. I think that's the lift to take us out, so we use that lift. We could use this one to leave. And again, how do you know, Bruno? <laughs> uh turret down there. As you can see a turret down there. That's the path we came. Uh, what are you for? You're a lift. I'm not sure we'll chat in a minute. I think that's a lift or something. Oh, probably to the bridge. Because there's escape pods and the front thing to EVA. If we're in space, or so to jump out. So you must be for the lift. Yeah, bridge. Let's just test bridge. So the signage in this particular is just pretty good. Frills again. Welcome to the Frills. I'm going to start set us on purple. She's a very. Uh, Temperamental beast at times. Remember, early access. Pretty alpha. 
Not finished. Okay, which one is the... Oh, I got a ladder to get back up. If, if the power's out. Why did the door not open? Oh, there we go. There we go. As you see, quite a nice thing. You're looking downwards, a nice view. I believe this is about a $700 ship. I'm not sure exactly 700 or 750 or something. As you can see, very big mama. Come on, squat, move. So no, because it gets freezing and then if I keep moving the mouse, it's only jerks when it unfreezes. Available met the ramps are going up, it's 5.4 now. <laughs> Come on, please. Uh, oh, I saw a slight movement. And if you hear that foot, I apologise. I've seen if you got up or I've just jumped to bed and that was up. 15 minutes, so why not? We move this around quick, I'm gonna write that down quick. Okay, just write that down, so I'll just ask the to me menu and pause a sec. So I'm still breaking this now, because that foot probably got on. Or it could even be an Aurora dropping someone she's walking up. Hopefully it's not Aurora. That means there's going to be a lot more banging. If then she's got the bed, she can't get back on bed without picking her up. Okay. So I think that's roughly the whole ship for you. Oh, I was, I was going to try and walk forward. It's a blue lift, isn't it? I guess I can take the ladder. Let's see. That's the ladder. Okay. Okay, how f is this? This will be quicker. Can I do it without killing myself? Yeah. Fine. Nice. You have to take the lift. You know, it's that froze where I've landed. I hope it's just frozen. It's like, you know, it's like uh, the death thing's frozen mid, mid air right now. <laughs> that didn't sound like a. Yeah, I don't even hurt myself. Sound like a big jump. Maybe if I ran and jumped out, it might have hurt me. Come on. And as you can see, as it's frozen again, they've got massive uh, knockoff landing gear. I mean, like, bloody massive boots. <sighs> Freeze it again. There we go. So, again, of, of, quite obviously, multi crew ship. And as we saw, I didn't see a captain's play, so unless we missed it. There is a chance I could have missed that one room, but so, but minimum was eight players a ship. This is the back of the bloody room in it. Ah, fudge. <laughs> yeah, you get to see the length of it again. <laughs> so when we came in here, we said right one, so we need to head right. So we came in from that side. Because there's just one room that's not got anything is in it, so we go to that one, we're just wasting time. Yeah, one room down. One room down. <laughs> okay, 99, my firstus. 98 health. I remember the last episode, last I lost a bit of health, didn't I? When I was looking at something. I don't know how I lost health. Like someone came to back me and hit me. <laughs> okay, so we should be doing this correctly going to hole one. What's the Avengers? And like I said, I don't think there's anything new in there, that Renegade, I believe is the, well, what they call it, the Flight Masters, Master, oh, F-18 again. Of course, they have that every year right now. Obviously, I'll explain how I believe you get hold of one of them right now. Basically, the only way currently is to put 10 grand in the game. Back it for that. And obviously, back in it for that, it's not just, oh, it'll give you 10 grand. It basically, that, that's through everything. Your subscription adds up to that. Buying t-shirts for the site adds up to that. Uh, you know, backing ships adds up to that. Everything adds up to that that you do through the official site, so. The other ways, like I said, there's the Avengers. And the torpedo one in. Stuff torpedo guy in the middle, I believe. Uh, and obviously, they, they did an event. What they could come, again, we had to find like a gold ticket to buy one to, that could come back. They may do that in the future, they may never do that again, don't know. Okay, which variant are you? The best way to go to the back, because I don't know why I'm just getting straight in the thing. <laughs> and I also want to see if it's easier to get to the back. Once I pick the EMP one, then you can't get to the back anyway. 
Okay, we can see the back. You look like the regular cargo. So this is the regular uh, Avenger, I believe. So this is just an Avenger. I forgot what, if it has a specific name. It means I should be able to... How do you do with a new system? Uh, alt and that. Alt. Alt and F isn't an alt and back thingy. You can exit seat. Is there not a way to flip the seat around? Vehicle player. Okay, exit seat. I don't want to do it behind. So it's turn me around or like, ah, okay, just turn me around first time and got you. And I bet when you sit it you turn left and you can climb out. Okay, so this is the basic variant. As you can see it comes with a little bed. Uh, this used to be really small and you had to do this to even walk in this area. <laughs> Well, now obviously they improved it. Basic cargo. A lot of people. I think it's called the Titan, isn't it? An Avenger Titan. A lot of people recommend this as a starship. Basically, there's other sh cheaper starships in the game, but a lot of people say, no, no, this is the best. What would you call it? I think this comes at about $75, where the regular package is like 45 So they say it's like a van starship. And a lot of people recommend this over other things. If you don't mind spending, you know, 75 get this, baby. So you get cargo space, and they also got the penguin because the way it looks. You got a bed and stuff. Tell me about it. Normally, used to highlight on when you go to rent them, and the name would pop always, but the new version it doesn't. So you can look at the front quote. Uh, just to get the name for you. I was right with it. Titan. Yep, I was right. I said Titan, didn't I? Go forward, please. Because when you're using the white thing, you know, the same paint, they're hard to tell when you see the backs of them. Oh, EMP. So this one, I guess, technically, I never really thought about it. You, can click, you could probably put a cargo box or two on this. I wonder what it would be like when they set the EMP off if you're standing in this, if it affects your character or anything. It would be bright. I've never done it. It'd be cool. But yeah, it's an EMP one, so you know, shut other ships down if you time it correctly. So this one doesn't have a back interior, but I think it's okay. Correction, correction. That the the, the, the the penguin is built up into three parts: the pilot seat, the tiny back with your your bed and stuff, and then the back. I, and I think it may still have the tiny back. I guess we should get in and check. But as with the other pe penguins, you can jump, get in the back and the side. This you will only be able to get in from the side. Oh, te well, technically, I just, that's wrong. I just got in from the back. But I mean, you won't be able to go from the back all the way to the front and from the front all the way to the back. That's probably what I'm trying to get at. That makes a bit more logical sense. I'm getting this one to show you. The other ones will probably just go through the back, basically. I'm not even bother getting in the pilot seat. So I think you have in that little section there still. So I just hold it and then I turn around. Yep, yeah, we do, okay. So if you want to class to me this is the middle, but if you want to class as the back, it has a tiny back area. But as you can see, the so-called door, no way to open it to get to the EMP. Cut available. What are you talking about right now, mate? I'm doing missions right now. And then if I turn my head, if I'm right, I should be able to get out this way. Oh god, how do I get out? On the opposite side? That's the one to get out of this side, though. Okay. So that's, that's what I'm saying, that make any sense. 
Maybe I just hit, uh, why I've been holding Y down, maybe I just hit Y. Well, to me it should be in the side. I was going to hit Y in a second. Let's see how we get out. Okay, just hitting it doesn't do it. We know holding makes it go out the way. Unless you get in the back and it, it might go that way. Let me see. No, why? Until it puts you this way. Okay. Oh God, we don't have to log out here and come back, do we? You should be able to turn left. And you get out of the ship. You know how to turn right then and have the exit. They used to have that for, for the left. And about here. Good highlight. I feel like it's that. Well, that I think I could be just tell me if I do a ship. What's this? Have we moved it somewhere else? Like an open exterior. Okay, let's open that. After we're all the way back. No. It's freezing. Again, some of these ships can be bugging because again, they haven't got the full gold standard. New systems come on, and they haven't they forgot a ship. And again, for everyone engine doesn't matter because you can go out the bloody back. Uh, okay. Is there anything from the back here? Like, do we have to be in the seat to get out that way? I really don't want to log back in to come back because then we've got to do this, finish this room off anyway. It's just, others I'll cut it out for you, me coming back, but it just takes longer. I have to log out and come back. We'll try one more time, people. But yeah, normally, you know, I just turn right and I could just exit, do we turn left, same prompt. Obviously, we're in 3.2, 3.1, so if you have this ship. Apparently, you may not be able to get out of it again after you fly it right now. Mate, I'm trying to get out so you can have a look. Because I think that's for that ramp access. Do you have another exit point? Because again, as we're sure, that just turned me around. Literally didn't see. Oh, what was that? Close to canopy. But the fact that's above me, maybe getting out is above me. Ridiculous. But I can't be shouldn't try. Because that's green. Is that just to open the canopy? Doing nothing, is it? There's a green back here. It feels in the past if you could just at least get it in the green and click, it would activate what it needed to. Now it feels like if you don't, if, if you get it in the green, and there's no actual point. It may not work, and it doesn't help when it freezes when you're trying to fine tune it. As you can see it's freezing on me. That means I can't fine tune it because then it jerks. Come on! It sounds like baby's up, but she should be in bed right now. Please let me finish this video. Come on! Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to exit and come back. It's not like it's not hanging green because it's freezing on me. Fudge. Yeah, I can get the ship. I'll see if in the space I'll be able to use the ejection too. Will be another method. So power editing be back in a second, people. Hopefully back in this room before we start again. In sec. Okay, you can see we're back. Did we make that trip again? So we ain't getting in that one again. But again, that doesn't really matter now because we can walk through the fall alarm. So we the eclipse. This is our torpedo stealth ship, I believe. I guess we check this one out since we're in the middle. 
Okay, stealth bomber. I guess bombers, but I think it's kept to counter pedos, but I guess bombs. Edge cut is a bomber designed to get in and strike before it's even been spotted. The extensive service of UBE, the high technology equipped made. It's a relevant market debut in 24, 29 Okay. Maybe it's actually just bombs then. Uh, do you have a back? I don't believe this one does. So that's obviously supposed to get in and out and drop its load on you. There we go, get him, bump. So I said the design of it is really nice design. Like you got the little open things there. And I think it's. Ah, there we go. Obviously, this one I believe does not have it in back interior. I guess if it does, it will turn me around when it was. I don't think it does. Oh god, I hope it doesn't. <laughs> as I know, it doesn't have a back material. Okay, good, it doesn't. Gonna say, well, there's another ship I'm trapped in. <laughs> there we go. Okay, which way to put me? I do from this side. Put up them two. It's these two now. So one of these should be the bounty one. That's a stalker. That Super Tiffy owns. Morality used to own, but I think he upgraded it to the Cody. And one of these is the uh, Flight Master, what I believe this blue yellow is a Flight Master one. See, so Kratos part of the Master of Flight series in conjunction with the flights in Marine Commander. The Renegade pays tribute to famed pilot Danny Solman for his notable work with the uh, Advocate to bring justice to Marine Man. This Avenger Titan, so basically it's a Titan, uh, comes equipped with a specialised dogfighting focus loadout and a custom special edition larvae honouring its conic ship. So basically, this is better dogfighting than the regular tail over there. Uh, there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, bud. As you can see, it's basically a Titan. But the guns and the outside look different. But obviously, with the paint systems, you can put any paints on these anyway that are specifically for Avengers. So, so if you don't really, uh, I don't. I'm assuming you could put that on no Titan that paint scheme then, but unless they made it exclusive to it. I'm assuming you can, I don't own one of these, I've never tried it. I'm assuming you could. So you could be flying a Titan around with that paint scheme, because you won't have the different weapons on it that this has. But you can customize weapons anyway, so. There's only a few vehicles that you can't, like, obviously, uh, yeah, I believe you can this. But I was going to say, hypothetically, the, I'm trying to hold F to look, but it's frozen again. The gun in front of me, hypothetically, this, this could be designed specifically for this Titan, and means you can't take it off, for example. We really do that with a couple of ships. Like the new bike is a good example of that. The new bike's a little a rattling gun or whatever it's got. Apparently that's unique to that and you can't take it off. But there's a few ships like that, but generally, 9 out of 10, you can remove and replace them with other ones. Like if this is tier 2 stuff, you can replace tier 1 to tier 2, etc. That sort of thing. And this one should have bounty things in the back. Oh, again, oh, that's the same, as you can see. Here they are. So your car goes a lot less. So again, if that's another reason why people recommend the Titan. And again, not the Renegade, because Renegade is, uh, uh, like I said, it's probably more, it's more expensive. But they recommend the regular Titan, because there's enough space in there to put a couple of vehicles in the back. Where this one, technically with the new bike that just came out, you should, I don't see why you couldn't slide it here. But then again, getting past this is going to be annoying to get up here. But you should, might be just get a new bike in here. But yeah, as you can see, um, okay, we'll back up. One, two, three. So they've got six. So they're going to have six bounties. And the way that's supposed to work, doesn't work yet, is you're able to put non-play character bounties in here. Because eventually, I'm not going to have to just kill them. Eventually, you're able to bring them dead or alive. And you can put them in here, especially alive. And players in here, same thing. But the difference with that, the player's going to have an option where he can release himself. And by release means like death. So in other words, if a player's in here and he wants to stay in here for the next hours, I'm flying him around like an idiot. Like, I'm not taking you back, I'm being a jackass. He can do that. But at the same time, the minute I put him in that, or the minute I get hold of him, he can just commit suicide. And if he does that, or it may be release, it may not be suicide when it comes out, but it's the way my understanding of it's going to be right now. And he will release respawn wherever his spawn spot is. And you have a non-player character version of his body in there that you can now hand in. 
obviously if he's released and it was alive, you then have would be like on play character, you can pick up and hand it in. I don't know though. I guess it technically that they haven't really talked about it. But if so and so releases, you wouldn't here being a jackass, like, oh I'll give me the back <laughs> and haven't realised it's released. And having to call to his spawn spot, could he technically come back and board you? <laughs> <laughs> release his body <laughs> and kill us you'll get the bounty again there'd be a lot of effort for that but I guess it's possible but right now that's not in game but like I said that's unless it's it's changed I believe that's the goal so if you're inside this thing uh, no it's, oh, no, I should have gone in should I it's going to be a bed you idiot why did I do that I'm going to run back again I'm showing you inside and actually clicked it. it's a bed it may not work oh good it just opened and it got me in okay I didn't get in because of the bed thing right now. But basically you'd be sitting standing in that and you can go the whole it takes it an hour to get somewhere with you, the whole hour, or you'd be able to just release yourself and get on with your day basically while he's delivering his non-player character. But obviously if you're in this and he brings you out unless because again I'm assuming when you're in unconscious, there'll be a timer on it. And when he releases you if you're alive and you He's gone over the 10 minutes you're supposed to be unconscious, or the 20 minutes, or whatever it is, and you could come out and try and fight him and stuff, whereas if you're in a play capture, you probably wouldn't. And some players might enjoy having a chat with him back there. <laughs> okay, one room down. Okay, so. I believe we're in left, so we gotta go right. Am I going to the wrong way? Ah, no. It's there, isn't it? That was my freezing again. I can't wait to get the bounty hunter in stuff in it properly. Right now, like I said, it's just you get a mission, you have to kill uh, uh, an unplayer character, ship, or thingy, or you get a mission where you have to kill a player. And uh, 9 out of 10 will be in his ship, but if he's not in his ship. And that's basically it. You get the money when they die, if you if you came to by your hands. And you actually have the bounty for it. If you don't have the bounty for it, they won't die, obviously. Oh, you look different. Oh, this is the back end with the colours. Yeah, if it is, yeah, if it is. Okay. I thought it was. I thought the back end looked like a different ship. And this is where I want to move, and I can't because I froze again. That name again, Mr. Freeze. Come on, baby. Come on, can we caress our sister right now so I can actually get back? There we go. Okay, if I come out the wrong side now. Okay, that's the start. So the one, two, so it'd be yeah, this one. And of course you can see some of the I think that's the one I was mixing up the one back there where we was getting I think it's torpedo. That's a torpedo ship. The other one is a bomber. That retaliator. Or assuming that's the actual main variant of it. It may just be the regular version without the back rooms in it. We'll get over there in a bit. Again, if you didn't see them on the first episode, a bunch of engines and oh, don't grab it. Uh, coolers. I'm used to holding F and doing that to point at stuff, and now it buys stuff with a new system. Did we miss her? No. Like one day, we'll do this. No lag. No freezing. The dream is there. <laughs> oh, I've got the doors this one. There's some more. Like other number of characters probably add to it freezing a bit, but again they want to keep pushing it because if they don't do it, lunch day comes. We're going out of beta. We're coming out, of, you know, for the 1.1 version, live version. It was no longer alpha or beta, nothing. And the game will die when all the players join. So doing this now, it's a pain to play at times like this, but it is allowing them to edge up, edge up, edge up, edge up, and hopefully when 1.0 comes as the full-on release a retail version, boom, it won't just die because of all these years of edging up and optimizing and improving. Because you'd notice that with some of the other MMOs. 
they come out and then boom they do a bit of a stress test for two weeks and it works and then it gets release date and the game just dies for a couple of days <laughs> and these are supposed to be fully finished products that no one over the stress tests have even seen before and some of these from big companies who've got multiple MMOs out like did the Labo 3 and 4 have something like that happen and these are people made bloody wild for crying out loud so they should be some of the best out there for multiplayer server stuff Again, I keep doing that to give me the name. I like that, I could double check it. Uh, I think what you are. Because you look like a saber to me, but the sabers don't have a back end. So I know you're not a saber. Are you the the one that I just said that the back's all read? No, I think that's retaliator, isn't it? You can see he's got turrets anyway. Sorry. Has a turret. Oh yeah, uh, whichever ship this is, I do remember has a different thing. I think there may be an EMP version of this, or at least electronic warfare variant. As you can see it's for two players. Ideally. I'm trying to think the name of it, I can't think. Because I want to say retaliate, but I feel the long ones are the retaliators. I know there's not the redeemer. Tell, let's see the name from there. Ah, Vanguards! That's it, the Vanguards. So these are basically. Who was taking the other day about? I think there's only four heavy fighters. Is Vanguard heavy fighter? I don't know if I mentioned it, if it was or not. If it was, there'd be five heavy fighters. Did I mention it? So I'm trying to work out how many heavy fighters it was. What do we say with the Scorpius? We had that one that was like the arrow that I couldn't come up with his name and it came to me. Uh, I hate that, that that one keeps disappearing from my bloody mind that one. It's the upgrade for an arrow we said last time. Um, the F8 Lightning. And I'm thinking Vanguard, was there another heavy one? Raider 4 I said. Invictus launch week is a great opportunity to see your taxes at work. As members of the Empire, it's your right to inspect the latest of the UP. There we go. Because if we said Vanguard, this might be a heavy one. But I was trying to think I mentioned this one. You know what? I'm just gonna. Why it's freezing on me! Star. Citizen. Heavy fighters, wiggy. Heavy fighters, though. Oh, I'm still freezing, seriously. Oh, Ares. Starfighter Inferno. I think we mentioned the Ares. Yeah, the Aeon. That was it. Ares, F8 Lightning. Hurricane, the one that looks like the Arrow. Scorpius, the other set. And Vanguard. Okay, I did not mention Vanguard. I forgot about the Vanguard. So the Vanguard is Heavy Fighters. There's five. Without counting variants, five heavy fighters in game right now. Without counting variants and the frozen. Uh, as you can see up there, because this pulls up, so you can walk over there. You can get the quantum drive there if you need to fix it, etc. There's actually five heavy fighters in game, not including the variants of, the, of them. If you kill the variant, we're double and triple them, aren't we? That's the warden. What I think is the basic one. Uh, let me see if it is. It's fighter. Hard charging bulldog of a fighter which features extensive forward mounted weaponry designed to tear through the shields and armor of a spacecraft. So named because their multiple jump range allows them to form the vanguard of any military uh, expedition. There's no separation there. Uh, expedition even people. Uh, vanguards have seen extensive service against the Vandul. So yeah, I think that's the basic one. Mm, I can't turn my hand. That name again, the game is froze. And then it jerks me. The name again, the game jerked me. Use a sentinel. Sentinel, I think you're the EMP one. Look at that gun. I'll just be talk around and keep freezing on me. These are the freeze episodes, people. I got the gun point at me. Dead alive, you're coming me. Okay, where are we? You're the EMP one. Or the electronic one. 
Vanguard Sentinel is a ship that's designed to fight smart instead of taking enemies head on. The conversion feature, an AR cockpit, an essential E war pod, and that's why I said like the electronic warfare in the back. Decoy missiles and a set of EMP charges. There we are, EMP. Thought it did. Vanguard Sentinels often provide necessary combat support for combined operations. A lone Sentinel is frequently paired with a Haybringer bomber and a Warden Escort for large attacks. So they have bomber variant and the, and what's the Warden, the regular one we just looked at? Come on, move it, mate. Move it, move it, move it. I need you to move it, baby. That was a little too fast. You class as the uh, warden. Yeah, I see the sign there. Warden. There's a bomber there, I assume, on either side. But you can see this is basically the back end's a bit different. Well, again, it freezes. You know, I like to introduce like the back end's different, and then you see it. And so this, the back end is different. Now go make a tea, buddy. There's a buddy. He pooped out a, bullet, a player. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and of course, the other one. I think it did it. That's a check. Uh, it's got a bathroom, it has your extra... Again, this is useless right now, it's just a display, but eventually this will probably have proper stuff on it. The size is the same. See, this is like the, the, the area he would do his e-warfare from. So that sort of stuff, not 100% sure how it's going to work in game, but I'm assuming it'd be stuff like trying to shut their systems down and stuff like that for them. Of course, the main sitting thing. Um, turret. Same at the back. I just want to double check it. I've got a feeling the other side, if it didn't have a toilet, it had. It should have a toilet because it's long range. Long range means you're going to be in it for a while. I was going to say, I was thinking it maybe had weapon racks. But if it's long range, it should have a toilet. But then the Scorpius doesn't, does it? So. Rotations. He's got a weapon rack instead, so no. Oh, you see, does that, does that side? Okay, you just have to hold it. Has a weapon rack. Well, you see where this weapon rack is. That's where that panel was, wasn't it? And then the beds were near the side, so where the thingy was, and they had the beds over here. Okay. Redeemer, or people who a nutcracker. Again, this was uh, technically the only player made shipping game. Uh. Games like 2015, 2016, the next great starship system, system, little ship, great starship. To a group of uh, their teams, I think they made like three players each, uh, backers who designed ships and they judged it like I think Sean Tracy was, um, Sandy, I think it was a judge, Chris Roberts was, I think it was Ben a judge or was it Chris Roberts' brother? I think they had four judges. I can't remember what one or the other. They basically judged these and the overall ship won. It was supposed to hit a certain thing. Because um, there's a gunship now. I believe it was a dropship and gunship originally. But then the, 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 the people who made it actually got. Some of them, I think one of them out of the three got hired, if not two of them. And they work for them now. And design because of metrics. Of the ship was all over the place, basically. Like a lot of the early ships were, they were done by outside designers, basically who they hired, and the Matrix were all over the place. Like the Freelancer, for example. Uh, well, like I said, like the Avenger early, how you had to basically crawl to get through it. For example, now they've got a set of metrics or Matrix, and everything is you know a player can fit through, a non-player can fit through, all this stuff. Why did I open down? Though? What happened? Oh! <laughs> Power Lambs turn! Yeah! Pay me like your French skills, please! Yeah! I don't know why I did that! <laughs> uh, but now they're all basically proper. Every one, sh uh, once it comes out, a non play character should be able, if, if it, they're designed to walk through it. If a player's designed to walk through it, a non play character is designed to walk through it. Obviously, like before you say, well, carpet, you sit in it, you can't walk through it. If there's a corridor in it, and you can walk through it, and non-play character can walk through it. They're designed that way now. But early days, they weren't. And the actual freelancer, uh, I think it was less to do with what I'm talking about, but I just came to my head quick. One of their bolts, apparently, uh, cost the game, uh, performance-wise, more than something like a full Idris in-game. 
with one bolt <laughs> because I put so much detail on it by mistake. One of these outside designers. But anyway, as a player design, so this one's had a lot of changes. Hence, it's only a gunship now, not a drop, uh, um, a drop uh, ship and a gunship. It's pretty powerful because I've been in this. Uh, uh, Proudy owned one. I got a feeling he may have changed it now. I'm not 100 sure. He owned one. We got to fight in it on the channel. Um, it took me forever to find some of the turrets in it, and one turret for some reason was not working. Don't know if it was bugged. Don't know if it just got randomly while we were fighting damage before I started accessing it. But one turret wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. And I was jumping between three turrets, and one wouldn't work. Finally found like the remote turret and a proper turret. Okay, can you go forward, please, mate? Hey, Ali. Someone just spoke. Good morning, the water's fine. Okay. I haven't got the voice being turned on, so you can't hear me. So anyway, welcome to my channel, whoever you are. <laughs> He's got spoke on it. Coming to what's fine. I haven't got it set up for me to talk. I don't often hear people talk on it, so... See, so there's the toilets. Um, beds. I think it's three, four beds. It's a four player ship. I'm freezing again, mate. And I think it's a Howdy then, too, if I'm not mistaken. So, again, I've been going out for a while. I've this on 22nd. If you saw me, Howdy back, maybe, if you ever see it on the channel. <laughs> I have no clue who you are. Uh, a weapon rack. Food. Uh, is this a working one? Oh, it looks like it might be. I'm not going to take the stuff, though. Obviously, this one doesn't have a lift, that's a ladder. So, this one is still a little bit tight in around if you're trying to use it at the same time. Okay. He's over there. So, four seats. I think this is the engineer. So, the engineer wants to get out of the turret. So, it's a turret access point there. Freezing again. I mean. Again, welcome to my channel. Hey, can you tell me if my white mic's working? Uh. Can you nod? Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to hit T. Wow! Oh, I'm freezing, mate! Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, my, 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 I'm freezing. Yeah. Thank you. Freezing. But. Yeah, I. Freezing, but your. Mike is working to the guy in the uh, Redeemer, innit? Redeemer. <clears throat> what? No problem. Ah, hopefully he sees that. I turned T and the light on him. <laughs> I don't think I can get it set up to, or if it is, it's a certain button now. Hopefully, I remember this is we called it the right ship. Okay. Fuck it, we can run them all. You know what I'm saying? Rent them all. Yeah, I think that's what that to me. I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear him, but it's quite, as you can tell, it's quite hard to understand. He's got a very, very American accent. <laughs> Even though obviously I do live here now. I used to find it hard with some of the accents over here still. But then, a lot of members of it hard with a lot of British accents. So I told quite a few times. Because uh, uh, apparently, because soon on Tiffy, and people, when I got home, my accent has changed a bit. But a lot of people here, oh, he sounds so British still. I, I thought, in the years he's been here now, he wouldn't sound that that's this way. I'm like, okay. To me, I sound the same, but apparently I changed a little bit than when I first came here in my accent. So I, do I have a hybrid? 90% British, 10% American? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this ship design's nice. I like it. And I kind of, if I don't know if he did get rid of it and he talked to another ship, but I kind of hope he didn't. And probably kept this one, so then when we do play sometimes, it'd be nice to be in this ship for him and that. Okay. Oh, okay. 
for centuries. Invictus Thank you, that was me. Okay, let me... Agent, FPS... Is it typing or is it not typing? Uh, yeah, even if my typing slow, look, I've got to finish typing, there's the P! <laughs> Okay. Did he say anything else to me quickly? I'll have to turn that off. And now I press it to come back on. It's taking a sweet time. Come back on, come back on, come back on. Uh, thank you, that was me. Here you are, oh, yeah. I'll do something like that. No, I didn't. I don't believe I got my mindset up or stop this citizen citizen well definitely I did speak back but like I said I never got said for star citizen <laughs> I was actually going to check in a second if I do, because I don't know what the button is. I don't believe I do. Uh, key bindings. Did it tell you in the comp thing? Uh, I've got it not muted, apparently. Is there a... Bum, bum, bum. For those with loved ones setting off today to begin their Soft lives... Soft yeah, yeah, but you that button. Uh, I'll off that. Anything that says mic? Yeah, it's freezing, not moving over. Because you'd think the mic button would be over here somewhere, you know, out of the way or up here somewhere, wouldn't you? Unless I'm blind. I do not see it. Uh, it's cam resets. I do not see it, mate. Advanced. Uh, the one percent of the mic to make it simple. God, even this is freezing, not people. Even this freezing right now. Hopefully, point one gets rid of this freezing. So, so uh, here we go. Uh, again, kind of, it's more for head tracking, but it's got the VoIP. What was the voice stuff? Numpad plus. Okay. So that is right on the right, is what I said it would be. To talk prophecy only. Oh. Prophecy would be the area only. So left out and plus, huh? That's interesting. I might. Probably going to lose it, but I might as well take a picture of that on my phone quick so I can access it quick if I need to. So yeah, I don't know if my voice is actually on or not for this. Interesting. So, was that the keybind I just was blind a minute ago? Keybinding. I think that's add VO for some reason. But it's on the fly, is that why? Add VO? Okay. It's supposed to be that one. Default move, really focus. Mm. They haven't got it in the set here. So, apparently, it's plus. I guess the next time I see someone, if I remember that combo, I can try it. Okay, can I why get out of this? Oh god, why is why not work? There we go. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm trying to do the ship again! Okay, I should probably chat if you said anything else quick to me. Oh, for what I was teleporting around to. Uh, I didn't. I just ran every ship many times. I won't. Well. Maybe to all people I'm teleporting around, but to me I'm not teleporting around, it's just, just keeps freezing. Oh, also, if I'm not mistaken, because Bradley was using, was flying this ship. I think this was the, yeah, there, the remote turret, so that's how you could access one of the turrets. And he had one there, and, because I think I was having here trying to access stuff, basically. And of course there's that back one, what I think might be a remote turret. Was one of these the turrets too? 
Ah, so that's see, there it is. You lower the, the bottom turret and you get the two remote ones. That was how it worked. I don't want to turn around to him. Oh, by the way, you've been my channel. I have no clue when. Probably like two months from now when this goes up, or three months from now, and everybody, oh, someone's doing a YouTube video right now, and all that. So hopefully he sees it. Maybe if I remember his name, I can, when this one goes out, I can send it to him. Hey, you were on my video for like two seconds. <laughs> you know what? Where are we up to? Um, one hour. I'm going to have editing cut away, and I'm just going to write his name down. Uh, so hopefully when I edit this, I'll, I'll, I'll remember. If not, I apologise. If you find this one day, you're like 30 years from now. I've got no days, I'm so <laughs> Okay, let me get back to it. Okay, so that's the Redeemer, and well, I'm freezing again. I just checked to write his name down, so again, I have no clue when I'm going to get this ep ed episode, episode edited. Man, I can't even talk properly. No, good job. I didn't, I didn't know the point in trying to talk to him. Oh, oh, he's like, ah, can you hear me yelling all this? I'll be like, remember that? <laughs> Get a tongue tied. Okay, moving forward. Please, freezing. Please stop with the freezing. Okay, okay, we did this. I uh, sent all. That's the warden. Unless they're the exact same. No, we went the opposite. Yeah. Moving on, moving on, moving on. This is the correct side. Not that fake side. Or the bento. Okay, where are we? So one of these is the bomber. I got a feeling you're both bombers. Are you both bombers? You are a hot battle. Oh, oh, one could be the bomber and one could be the flight master one. The Vanguard uh, ho Hoblet, not hot battle, Hoblet. There's a cross between a winning Vanguard deep space fighter and a dedicated boarding ship. Oh, I forgot the other boarding variant. Adapted from a proven assault ship design, the Hoblet is perfect tool for inserting an armored strike team with enough firepower to get them out again. We'll go in the back in a sec. I just want to check if it's the same ship or not. Again, that'd be a lot easier without the freezing. Is it cold in here? Because the game thinks it is because I keep freezing. Okay. Bama. Nope, it's the Bama one. Okay. So we're here, we're about to read it. You know it's going to freeze like 10 times if we get to it's one. The Vanguard Hardbringer? Haybringer, even? There's Earth Standard Fighter Dash Bama, converting the standard Warden's escape pod into a potent Bombay. Sounds like a drink, Bombay. The extended range of the Vanguard and the reality, sm re reality, small profile mean that it can go where carrier can go. Wait, that it can go where? Oh, I, I, I want to know it for some reason. It can go where no, well, no ever go where carrier base ships or larger strategic bombers don't uh, strike hard and then make it back to base. Okay, I'll get the back end quick. There's the freeze. Like, I'm really suffering bad with the freezing, as you can tell. Hey, but, but the good side, my variable memory, 9.4, the game's using only 22.3 right now. The more I'm around and getting back, it's not seem to be helping me much. Okay, so this is the bomber variant, so... He said, oh, here we go, there it is. So again, I would love to be one of these ships and just see the, the torpedoes, shoot out the missiles, shoot out the bombs, drop. But A, I don't intend to own ships like that, or B, I'm the only one who's generally flying them, because I normally almost have a little tiffy or priority, and they normally, you fly, you fly. Because I play more, so I'm a better pilot than them, and generally, out yeah, of the three of us, I have a better computer right now than them. So I generally run better. Even though it's still weird, because I'm that time in Crusade, I just froze, I just couldn't move. Swap with priority when I could swap, and he, and he, he was smooth. He said to leave it. I'll take it. I didn't have his footage to, to confirm it, but he got us out of there. It's the only time that his flight was better than mine. It was like in certain areas for some reason. Oh, freezing again. I wonder if this is me then teleporting around when people are seeing it. And so when he said it, was, what was his name? Agent FPS was uh, teleporting around. He's, he's been doing it a lot. So uh, that's why it's boarding, so you grab the weapons, you have your drop seats. Oh, so one, two, oh, four, it's four, right? It's harder to count when you're doing that, you freeze. So one, two, three, four, six throws again. And I assume it's equal to either side. 
I think if it moves, there's two limb all there, so it's, so it's eight. And then you get the fly and the turret, so. Is that right? No, no, you don't. There's two. Okay, see? So what I'm saying? And I can't just do a quick double check at the double thingy. Oh, and now you're working. Ah. Ah. It's working perfect now. Of course it is. So, yeah, this is an eight player ship then, ideally. You have one player flying, one player in the. Oh, did you lose a turret? Did you lose a turret? Oh no, it's there. In a turret. And then ideally, six players in the back to be dropped off or picked up. We go to Abbott and. Oh, you got a boot to ground, boot to ground. Charlie, he's dead, boy! <laughs> okay. Okay, is that the third room done? So we just have the, the middle and the bottom to do now. We're at hour five, so this is obviously going to be probably an hour, 20 hour, 30 minute episode. I might have to get a drink in game. <laughs> We're at 51% right now. Hello. I do think I could probably shave probably five, if not ten minutes off, if if I could didn't have all the freezing. And the trouble is I can't really cut it out because I'm talking over the freezing. Generally about the freezing. <laughs> yeah, so I believe we have the the bottom and these. So these are the well, I, I want to say the new retaliates, but they're not technically new, but at the same time, I guess the gold standard's new. And the gold standard's the current standard. Obviously, if the game takes another two, three years to come out, the gold standard might move, the gold posts move again, and voila, these might be updated again to the new or current gold standard. Okay, gunship. The Retaliator. Uh, the citizen refit of Retaliator updates the military ship's chassis with unlanded space able. To fit it with various modules to suit your needs. So before you had to basically buy uh, the ships individually. I think there was a pack that basically gave you the free ships, basically, because they were their own individual ships. But now uh, you just get the modules and the one ship. I believe because I've I've I have seen people talking about that package from the early days, and I didn't really go into it too much. So I don't know if they've lost out on ships because of it or it's just, they temporarily had. But then again, I guess they haven't really, because everyone, well, when you're waiting on a ship, gets given a temporary ship, uh, don't you right now, a loner ship, for a ship that you don't have, for example, so obviously if you had that pack and had three of them in it, and they've cut it down to just one in the, to the modules, that was your loner pack until the, the real thing was done, but then again, if you bought it, thinking there were three ships in it, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to handle it, maybe they will give them all three ships for I don't know. I just saw it a little bit on Reddit and mentioned it, and I was like, well, I don't really get this. Because he was complaining about his lost value, and someone else was no, we've gained value. And I was like, I don't, not really got a, a you know, foot in the game in this. And I'm um, uh, not really understanding, especially the first person who saw about it, he wasn't really explaining it properly. And since I've never had this pack or a retaliator, I wasn't 100% understanding what he was talking about. Hopefully. It works out fine on whichever way it is. Anyway, as you can see, do we go up? We go up. Are we moving? Okay, I think I saw a slight movement then. I think we're just frozen. Please go up. There we go, yay! I just realised I might have knocked my button because my sound's a lot lower, so when he was talking, he might be louder than I thought he was. So I was going up there, I was like, why is it so low? And with these headphones, it's got one of them, you know, you scroll ones, and it does catch my arm at the chair sometimes. So sometimes it does get really loud on me, or the opposite, it gets really low, and I don't notice it too much. Especially if I'm not in a big bang bang, people talking to me stuff. Ah, uh, someone's got the engine out. Look out, it's me, he's going to say, Who's there? Engine that PS, you in here too? <laughs> Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, because again, first time in the new Go Standard version, I believe this is just the basic retaliator the version now, and the new rooms would become this. So if you have the bomber variant, this will be the bombs aside. If you have one of the other variants, this will be for that. I could be wrong, because I've not been in this with the new Go Standard. So technically, I guess in that way, you couldn't have this variant before. 
just itself. So that in a way this is a new ship in that way, or it's a new variant. Because obviously you buy it without the modules, you can still use it. Okay, are you buy pilot seat. Yeah, pilot seat. Okay, I pressed it, you know, didn't you? Register me? Oh, he did. He's just taking the sweet bloody time. Turn me around. You know, I'm so nice for it. Screw it. So it's a nice long ship. Obviously, like we said, the torpedo version. That's See, the speeds really fit with this long, long longness. Do we have many of these here? Two, three, get that bar up my face. And the wall. So I said, there's three retaliators here to look at on the top. And then the three ravens, and we just have the ground to go. So, yeah, there's no true huge, huge ships to go through, then, is there today? Other than Hammerhead, I guess that's the biggest. But yeah, so if I'm not mistaken then, this is the basic variant, sorry, the basic edition. Well, I guess it's not a variant, it's the start edition. And then you, the others are the same edition, but now with the torpedo module in it and the, whatever the other module was going to be. Uh, so that would make the free up. If I'm not mistaken, again I could be mistaken, I use that a lot. Upstairs is where the uh, crew sleeps and hangs out. Am I mistaken? Let's find out what it's all about. What's that? Oh, let's well, up a tour up here. Well, I believe. Are you. Weapons? Are you just part of the. the stuff to buy? I'm not sure that's a weapon rack or not. I believe, like, the first position when you come out of it is the turret for the gunner, so these are, like, the easiest plays. Can we open this door, please? Plus, matey. Yeah, that's right. There's the people. Where well, they're supposed to sleep at the door with the open. We'll take a peeky boo. Come on, I want to take a peeky. Well, apparently we can't get in. <laughs> I think it's four. Was it more than four? It looks like there could be one at the back there. And there's a chance it's opening and then freezing and it's shutting and then unfreezing me so I don't see it opening. The door's not open. Well, at least in my screen. Yeah, okay, we can't say. Okay. So, from. I hope maybe one of us at work. So, basically, I think there's one, two. Unless. No. Is that not a bed? Or is that a. Is that a thing? No, no, that is, isn't it? So, it's four, five, six. I would say it's a six player ship. If I'm right. I think. I can't move again. And then, of course, if you want to do turret guys, you come straight out and you up there. Oh, this this is the turret in it. Severa, please wait. Oh, hey, if it fixes it, maybe it will actually give us control back. Is it sinking again, or because I can't move, or am I getting kicked off right now? What's happening? I hope I don't get kicked off. Because again, that means you got to travel all the way back. Hey, the server might work better, but. At this point, we're close to being done, so 10 minutes, walk back, well, it's not quite 10, but, you know what I'm saying, 5, 8, 10 minutes to walk back, again, logging off, logging back on, then, but it's probably 10 minutes at that point, it's just delaying me. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is cut away path editing, and then, if we suddenly come back, explain what happened, if I had to log off and come back, what we'll do, it would be nice if we could at least be leaving this ship, so I don't have to get back in here, anyway. See you in a sec, people. Okay, back, had to log off the game and come back in. Uh, this server seems to be okay right now, but there seems to be a lot more uh, rubbish on the ground of the server. We were in this retaliate over here, weren't we? Maybe it will work at the back now. Oh, that's it, was lifting up on the inside. There's a torrent. There they are. Here we go. Oh god. I thought I bloody ran over the uh, the edge then. Yeah, that was a good old fence. Okay, so where did we So we went this yeah. So we believe this is the regular variant. At least that's my I'm thinking right now. Uh yeah, the freezer. Freezer's still there. Just froze. 
Uh, was the, yeah, we looked at that. Okay, I see these doors work this time around. Yep. So maybe the server's just messing up before it, it broke, or maybe before. So one, two, three, four, put a torch on. Oh, and, and you notice I had a drink, an in game drink too. Yeah. It's freezing now. Oh, that's cool. And you got a nice little. If I could look properly for you, as you can see a view as you're flying. Oh, I'd land if someone wants to fly upside down. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. Okay, so we want to go this way. This way, this way. Oh, another bed. Probably the pilots or the captains. So we got a six up with that seven. So that's probably the pilots, or I guess it could be the captains. Come on, door. All game, unfreeze. So it's seven players this is meant to be. At least. Okay, so this is, again, a EVA hole. Obviously, it would be a quick way to get out the ship. The lift. That's... Is that the room we're in? Oh, engineering. Oh, I guess this is for engineering or a bit more cargo space? Or is this one of the rooms I guess changed to as the module system? So it feels like a bit empty, so I feel that also gets uh, moduled. What's this for? I don't see a pot in there, so is this looks like a locker? I guess that's a fire, you know, you can pull out your flame suit or whatever, is that what it's for? This is what I'm talking about, it keeps freezing, I just want to, there we go, just poke my head forward to see what's up here. Oh, this is for a turret, okay. Oop. There we go. Turret, I assume. I think it just said turret in it, it disappeared on me. I think this is a turret, I sure I saw that quickly. Again, it's been, yeah, there it is, turret. It's just been very buggy. Or oh, the server. Because I can't move forward now. Ah! If it was working, then you'd see me going, ah! <laughs> this is just the other side, so I guess this will be another turret or escape pod. That's a turret then. Yep, turret. So yeah, so I'm interested to see the other two if these this that middle bit I thought and this this left bit if my head could turn uh at a bit that change because to me there seems to be nothing in them. So I'm thinking that's where the module system comes in. Obviously, if we get now it turned. I was gonna say, if we leave the ship, we can go in and check it out. That was all about. I'm just gonna. I don't think that should hurt me from up here, should it? Gentle, gentle, gentle. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good in hood. Okay, where are we going? Um, la da ba da. Oh, I don't want to look at the tail pipe. That's on sweet tail pipe. That's what the game wants me to do. Okay. So. So you're the bomber variant. So again, exact same ship. That one had no modules in it. It has the bomber in it. Before this was its own ship, but now it's a module like it's always supposed to have been originally. Uh, there it is. Elevator. Oh no, wait. Oh, there. Look at crush point. So basically, this should be set up exactly the same, except for that one part or possibly two parts. I think it is. So there's no point going to the front and all that. Let's like see it all straight away. Yep, this is one of the rooms. So this is where the bombs are, and of course, I guess you could always when they open this, be in here. You got the cabo hat. Woo! <laughs> the way down if you want. <laughs> so if I'm also correct. That other small side room at the back will be different as part of the module. Or is that just a cargo in every one? Okay, I'm going the wrong way, haven't I then? This is the front. Okay, so it's the other way. So you come in, see the room, and it's the opposite side. If this is exactly the same as the other one, 
when we get there, then we'll just check this front bit out only. Go forward. The door's open, I believe. What is it on me? I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, so we're slowing up. Uh, so the rest of the ship should be the same. But I'm thinking it's part of this too. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is part of it too. So, yeah. So does it affect this middle bit then? Like, could one of the more turrets? Or something else, is, is special if they made a module for it? I guess it could have more turrets because they're setting into the ship itself, aren't they? It's just the interior that's changing. But again, again you're changing the back door, you got an extra way out, technically, if you want to go with the damn bomb. So I guess they could, if they wanted to. That should be Taurus, so yeah, so that should be the only differences really, is that little room, and that room. So, I don't know if this middle thing can change, but basically that, and that's the module. Whee! I hit the light. Now I'm starting your feet. Okay, so, it's a variant of you. Now someone's got the big one down. I can take this before. Uh, how do I use you? Do I just press on you? No. Do you have a button on the side? A button? Do you have a button? You want the ones where I have to click upwards? So eventually they all should be similar. They all have buttons, but some are still in the old system where you've got to click green. They haven't had them redone, but this been the old sensor. Should should really have a button. It's been redone, right? You never buy them, or the idea that's supposed to use this to go up. It's just for cargo. So someone up there should be pressing the button. It seems to still be doing the edge of it, like you press it from here, wouldn't it? Or is this the actual thingy room? Could be at the side. Where's the thing for this? Like, what variant does this class does? It's like a cargo variant. Gunship. Uh, refit, retaliate updates, a military ship's chassis with updates. It will fit. I oh, used to tell me the variant modules, not the variant of it. I didn't go to the wrong variant, did I? Hey, mate. I didn't go to the wrong side when I came out, did I? And I'm back to the regular. Let me see what this says. Just a retaliator. Heavy gunship. Did that's what I did there? Goes the wrong side? Bomber. Or did you just got literally two retaliators both sides? It's got just two retaliators and a bomb in the middle. I thought there was another module. It is, hasn't it? I thought there was two modules minimum. So what, this one would have been the unmoduled one, one would have been the cargo variant, and one would have been the bomber. But I think the two left and right ones are just the regular module. No, that makes sense, doesn't it? This is supposed to be military. Why would it have a cargo variant in the military? So yeah, there is a cargo variant, it's just not here. Uh, Okay. Now we'll get Sabins. Sabins? Sabers! That's the name, right? Sabins! Sabers! Okay. And of course, I own one Saber. The default Saber. Well, I believe this one is a stealth fighter. So, you're part of the Aegis Dynamics Phase 2 of New Ship Module. The Saber has designed was designed even as a space superiority fighter for those situations where you need to leave a lighter footprint. So I had to be a rapid responder. Saber is more than capable of establishing battlefield dominance for any number of combat scenarios. So basically it has lasers and some missiles on it. It's a cool ship. You know when I want to be out there longer, as long as I'm not dying obviously. Uh, I, 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 this one's better. Or the other ones what use like the ammo. I guess that's just a nice ship. 
Obviously, like I said, I like fire, stealth fire specifically. That's why I didn't mind having her on top of my gladius. The gladius is just my light fighter. This is a light stealth fighter. So that's the reason why I was putting off getting a Hornet. And I thought I'd buy a Ghost Hornet in-game at a later date. I didn't want to get a, a, a regular Hornet at that point in time because I always well, like the Ghost one more. Even though now I do have a Hornet, thanks to the being a military variant after that event we just did. I don't think we've put it in the channel yet. But I... You know, I, I uh, dropped the money and got hold of it, and then added the upgrade from going from hell and back with that damn event. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> as again, if you've been watching the channel before the investors, you would have seen them episodes of. Uh. Overall, that event was the over was Overwatch over over something whatever it was. Overall, the event was fun, but also super annoying and frustrating. But that's more because the bugs and the messing up. And take all that away, it was actually a good event. And you can see potential of it when the bugs and all that stuff and the server working right and perfect being there. Uh, also we have this the Saber Comet. This version is basically the Saber, different uh, layout. Uh, one of the famous flights uh, to master any commander ones again. I can move forward if I want free so I can read it better. Can I read that for me? Super created as part of the flight the, the, the Masters of Flight series in conjunction with the Light Sim Arena Commander. The Comet pays tribute can I move forward again? Nope to our oh, famed pilot Captain Kuma Adelan for his work with Aegis to usher in a new era of combat ship designs. Saber comes equipped with a specialized dogfighting focus, loadout and custom special edition levy honoring the iconic ship. Okay, and, and I'm trying to back out which throws. There's a third uh, ra a third Raven, a third Saber called the Raven Saber, the, 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 the Saber Raven. That version you could only get if you were lucky enough to need, I uh, had the money, or around the time period, uh, or decided to, by a um, Intel hard drive. I think, the only, I think they're 250, 250 as in space on them. It came with a code for a Saber Raven, so you can't get that in game. Basically, that's an EMP version of the Raven. Obviously, it's not here, so I can't show it you. And for that reason, because they can't sell that, and you can't get that now unless you get on the grey market. But obviously, I don't really suggest going on the grey market because, to me, at the end of the day, none of that money goes to Zig, and you never know. At some point, they might just pull the plug on that. And if you have a grey market one, you might lose your count. I just don't risk it. I know some players do. If you do, that's up to you. I don't promote it. Don't want to risk. I don't uh, want to risk it myself. But if you want to, that's up to you. But basically, that's the only way to get one now, unless you're lucky enough to find one of these um, Raver, Raven hard drives. You know, on eBay, and the code was never used or something. Or one of the, uh, someone's got some old stock they've not got rid of for whatever reason. Basically, you can't get out otherwise now. Um, can't move right now, but there should be a brand new Raven. No, oh God, I keep saying Raven to the Saber. Brand new Saber, not Raven. The Raven's a variant of the Saber. A brand new Saber that's in game with this patch and this event. Uh, what is an EMP, e e EPS, or anything? E EPS, EMP. My God, my words for the set section. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Um. Basically, it's a little more of a missile bot. I believe it's this one here. I can rumble today. Like I said, this week's just been, ugh, I'm tired. I want a drink. The freezing's annoying me. <laughs> My throat feels a bit rough. Are you the new one? What, what are you even called? Mate, 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 come on. Come on, mate. You st come on, you're starting something, mate. You're starting something. Yeah, you walk away. Just what I thought. Just what I thought. And of course, it freezes now. It was in my grasp, the play capital was starting on me. The Firebird. So this is one right now that obviously on the 22nd you can get this and probably for a week or two. When this episode goes out you may not be able to, or but this one will be coming back with other events and stuff like that. So you'll be able to pick it up with the next event which is normally November, December. Actually it could be October isn't it because you sit in car and then it goes around, yeah, around that time isn't it. 
So this is probably back then if you want this particular one. Anyway, when front lines come to call for a swift and decisive offensive, the Sabre Firebird is the ideal medium fighter for any arsenal. Taking the already battle proven Sabre Raven. See, that's the way of reusing the Raven. Uh, Aegis has designed the Firebird with variant with an enhanced missile launcher capable of engaging with a wide array of fights. Threat, sorry. See, this is how they're using the old Raven, because like they said, the Raven has been brought to go standard. And by doing this, it allows the play few players who have it to go standard for them because they've been left, unfortunately, on the, the you know the wayside. They now have a go standard for the Raven, and, and, and by two birds with one stone, uh, Raven, two birds, and Firebird, <laughs> they've actually made a new bird, so to speak, using the Raven chassis because the Raven chassis apparently is a little different than the actual the Sabers, Sabers, Sabers. Uh, the way the ships are designed, even though it's a variant of that. So now I'm assuming this is tied to the Raven, so every time they update this with new gold standard stuff in the future, the Raven will get the will get it too. With slight differences that need the EMP thing sorting where this will need the missile sorting. So yeah, if I didn't already have a saber, this would be a nice one to get. But obviously to me, I have a saber with lasers and a few missiles. This is full of missiles. Missile bow, I have a freelancer miss for that, so I don't really have a reason for this. Basically, I see my saber as the. As long as I'm not getting blown up and killed, assuming I can stay in the combat, is the, is the ship that I can use to get under the radar, the ship that I can stay in combat longer with, because I ain't gonna run out of ammo. This baby. Uh, yeah, I can stealth in there, but then I'm out of ammo for missiles, are gone, now I'm leaving again. You see what I'm saying? So I don't see a reason for this in my fleet. A need for I like to have the ships. I don't mind the odd overlap here and there, but you know, once taken, I can jump in the other one. But I don't directly need, you know, twenty of the same ship. <laughs> and I know somebody who said, "Well, you said you had the pirate gladius earlier, and the regular gladius." Yeah. Again, I really like the red color and the fact that it's a pirate one. That's what made me want to get that one. As long as I got it twice. If I could have done upgrading my regular one to that, I probably would have done. At this stage, if they give you the option now, I probably won't now because time has passed too much. Because I still want that regular one because I like it and I still class it my, weapon, my wedding ship. But you can see the design. So the Raven's obviously similar design. Where well, you can see the Sabres, the design over there is a little different, but there are variants of that. So basically, them two variants of each other, then you had the Raven, and then they. Well, it's obviously it's a technically different ship, but it's still a variant of the original Sabre. But you can see the silhouette's different. Now they've taken that, uh, done good for the Raven players, but bringing us up to the current gold standard and got a new ship out of it. So this ship's probably going to be more widely owned than the Raven will be. And when this gets updated, more likely they'll update the Raven and won't have as much to much uh, to fix with just the EMP aspect of it. The rest of it will go up when this goes up. So anyway. We are 1 hour 33, bloody hell. It's only been a long episode, don't we want to split it to 2. We just have the bottom to do now, don't we? So this won't take long, so by 1.40 we should be done, if not sooner. So that should be all the retaliators and that done. So I believe there's two things down here, the Vulcan, if I'm not mistaken. I mentioned it earlier, I think that's another Tiffy ship that she's missing. She's been waiting on for years. It was a repair and the rearm ship, and I'm hoping it can carry the Tonk. One second, I'm getting a message for you. Please text me back. I am almost bloody finished. Oh, I see why. If he's 7.56, she's coming down. She has her office upstairs, but for some reason she's preferring working downstairs recently. I guess because of being pregnant, it's just easier. So she'll be down there upstairs. That's probably what she's phoning for. No, we're, just, we're almost done, like 30 seconds almost. So this one very quickly is the Natalus. This is the mining ship, I believe. With full of discount service under its belt, the Aegis uh, Dynamics Natalus Tactical Mine Layer represents the ultimate strategic combat engineering fully integrated in the mine deployment sweeping disarmor. So it can pl place mines, sweep mines, etc. I don't see a reason for that in game for me personally right now, but I can see once we have bases, it'd be quite a good ship to have. I just personally don't see a use for me. 
Okay, and this is the Vulcan. This is the one I believe it is. Is it Tiffy's? Repair might be refuel. Yes, it is. Refuel, repair, rearm. Become a one person support crew with Aegis Dynamics Versatile Vulcan. Supply A to pilots on the fly. Wherever pinned down under fire, heavy fire and in need of ammo. Low on quantum fuel after an ill planned jump or stranded in unknown space. With a busted thruster, a pilot in stress can always count a Vulcan and its candidate of drones and leads. Lend speedy efficient assistance. So, this is Supernova's ship. She does not have it right now. It's not in game. Uh, there's a platform, I, believe, I think I'm at the back of the end here, at the front, that I believe comes free. So, it can, multiple of these can repair something. Okay, this is the back end. I thought there was a platform on this. Unless they change the design a bit. Unless there's another repair ship and I don't realise. And it's not the Vulcan she owns. Oh, yeah. I think that hers is bigger. I think hers might be tomorrow's. This is the, the, the more smaller one they've done. Because I'm sure there's, there's, it's like an open thingy in, in a platform it can drop that you know vehicles can sit on, or it can just go to bigger ships with the platform on the ground or flood space, I guess, and you know zap on etc. Anyway, that being said, 135. Going to end here. Hope you enjoy. And I guess we'll find out very quickly tomorrow if this was stupid or Tiffy's or if hers is tomorrow. I've got a feeling it's tomorrow. And the Vulcan is a newer ship here. And the smaller one probably come out before hers does. So I can't remember her name at the moment. But and obviously I need to end so Tiffany's coming down, so I don't wanna keep going right now. And it's one half three six two. So anyway, like subscribe, I've been having to be awesome, thank you for watching, have a great one for the day, and see you next time. And see you next week and we'll confirm if it's still Tiffy's uh, or not. Like subscribe. Bye one.